Der var layer keyboard. Oh, maybe the first layer is keyboard and the, 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 the second, second layer is analog. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it works. <laughs> Keymod versus analog. First of all, what that is Keymod. What is Keymod? That's uh, what they have in um, grocery stores. They put the shelves up there. Yeah. That's a, that's that's the that's thing. We can put a picture here. How how does it look? How, how does Keymod look and analog? And I mean, should we start rambling around or should we just give them the answer? <laughs> it's easy. I, I mean, that was the discussion the... 10 years ago. What what is better, Keymod or analog? There has been research. Analog is better. Done. I would agree, but there's so many off-spec products on the market that Keymod is more forgiving. Is it? I think it's more forgiving, yeah, than Mlock. No, because you need the slots on the rail from the bottom yeah. picture here. Yeah. And if it's off, it doesn't work. With Mlock, you just have two screws. You just screw it in. But also there is slots. There is slots on the inside. I think there's always those issues where you where you push them in and then you turn, but they actually don't turn because they're not on spec. Like they get caught on it and But that's the same. Or they turn the all the way around the things on the inside. I mean I unfortunately I have a handguard that is key mount. And I just put nuts <laughs> on the other side. It's like Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's like if you say I'm forcing I was born. Who said need it doesn't work? Uh, yeah. Doesn't make a difference for yourself, does it? It doesn't make a difference. For I yourself. agree. Did you did you ever like think? Did you ever like die and then you saw it? It's the bloody keyboard. Because my flashlight fell off when I rammed it with like two thousand newtons into into a door frame. Funny enough, I, I don't use accessories too much. Yeah. But when I try to put something on there, I've never owned a piece of key mods that actually worked really yeah i haven't owned too many accessories but not the case for me and it works for me and the same thing goes with analog they all require a little bit of filing and sending <laughs> <laughs> unless it's Man, if mac pull ceases they're gonna be like that was not the idea i mean <laughs> in airsoft in airsoft let's be fair in airsoft thanks aliexpress <laughs> for destroying our amazing idea <laughs> They all work after you modify them. They all yeah, work after you make them work. After, they all work after you put a Picatinny rail on there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's one, one once time you, I put on it anyway. It's a section of Picatinny rail. Once you cable tie a Picatinny rail onto it, it always works. It's perfect, yeah. Yes. What else can we say about Keymod and M1? I mean, the idea, okay, what's the, what's the discussion? But I, I'm not following it that much because on sniper rifles it's not really, you know, who cares? SSX-303, full of M-Log. Yes, and, and since then, yes, I did do a lot of research on it, but back in the days for me it was like, key mod, I don't like the idea of it because when you bump into something really, really, really hard and it moves back, it pops out of the slot. Yes, yes. And not the I case with analog. Yeah, not the case with analog. And I think that that was the idea or one of the main ideas of switching, of like going away from analog. Because if you have a flash on your gun, from from key key mode, if you flash it on your gun and you like run into a room and you bump your flashlight mm. on the door frame and it just comes off. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Your flashlight probably dead anyways after the bump. Nah, no. Man, flashlights no. are fucking tough. Yeah. It depends. Mm -hmm. If the electronics inside don't fail, yeah. Yeah. Then it's not then it's not too bad. Anyways, what else can we say about Keymod and Analog? I think Keymod looks and people are gonna hit me for it, but I think it looks cooler. Keymod. I think Keymod looks cooler. It's not as just because Mlock looks like it slots for cooling of the barrel or something. Like it doesn't look like it's actually meant to. Mm. It's like, oh there's a slot, let me just put something like square in there, just turn it and then attach something. Mm. Key mod looks more dedicated and it's also much easier to install, I think. It's like, it's chuck, chuck. Okay, done. from the manufacturing point of view, key mod is very complex to machine. 
That was also if one of the If you reasons. make the chamfer on the inside, which, which you 99% should. of the airsoft ones doesn't have. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, they don't have it because it's it's way more expensive to make it. You need special tools for the chamfer on the inside. Oh, with the chamfer on the inside? You mean the, the, on, the, on, the, on, the on the smaller side of it has a chamfer on the yeah. inside, and the the nut that goes in it has a counter. It's counter. You mean the key key mod, no? Yeah, key mod. Oh, key, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like. Yes, it's a it's a double tail that just uh, goes in from the larger side. Huh? In that case, Picatinny rail is strong. It's still attach anything to it. Picatinny rails are pretty damn good actually. And that's why I still like Not the bad, Daniel Defense. But it's heavier. It's heavier. If you don't use Picatinnies for any accessories, you would put like on the side and the bottom, which. A lot of people don't. I myself, I don't put anything there really. It's not. It's heavy. It's heavy, and it's not comfortable to hold. Yeah. yeah anyway. And um, if if it's a cheap product, it has sharp edges, so you cut your hand easily. Yeah. That was, for example, the case of the CZ Bren. They had sharp edges, and all the soldiers, the 556 version, the real steel, it has sharp edges, and you cannot fire the gun without gloves. And if you fire, I don't know, two Just mags, don't see your, your gl- doesn't matter, you need to hold the gun somehow. Oh, it has it everywhere, right? It has it everywhere, right? It has it everywhere, and okay, it cuts your hands. Yeah. Okay. That was the Gen 1, now it's kind of solved, but still, like, come on. <laughs> Real steel firearm, which hurts you when you fire it. Yeah, because... Were, the soldiers were complaining so much about that. And mm-hmm. that's the case with airsoft accessories as well. What well, is- no recoil for airsoft. Hmm? No air, no no recoil for airsoft. Yeah, true. So but you still yeah, hold it. Hold I mean, my favorite reel is still the Daniel Defense MK18 and the Noweski. I mean, they are old. But that's real steel brands. You take the airsoft copy then uh, take a good copy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about them? You like how the reel attaches? Or? Uh, I like the reel attached and I like it's solid. Hmm. I do. I'm, I have zero worry of bumping that or anything. It is solid. It is on my GBBR. That's, That's why it. it's like five times the weight of a keyboard system. Well, oh, keyboard is bumping the. Oh shit, it dented. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you bump your guns really hard. Huh? Well, we're talking about trying to dislocate a, a keyboard thing. Man, on the last game video, you stuck the gun in a pile of wood <laughs> and you broke the camera. Like yeah. the mount for the camera. Yeah. Who's bumping too hard, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think about. Going away from Picatinny on the top of guns. I think it's an amazing idea because you don't need most of the Picatinny rail. You need, you need like it on the front, uh, yeah. you need it on the on the back, like closer to you for your optics, and you need it for a sight in the That's front. That's actually I like these Picatinny ways, whatever key mod or oh, analog hybrids that you only have like in the front, mm. four sides or three sides. Yeah. Then just round or mm. whatever shape on it. It's comfortable to grab. Yeah. And you can still attach most of your stuff. Yeah. And I even like um, when there is no rail whatsoever on the handguard. Because you can still put a rail there a if rail. you yeah. want to. But That's... I'm not talking rail, I'm talking receiver. Oh, receiver. Like going away from a receiver completely. Yes. Huh, that's an interesting question. I thought about it. The, the problem is that you need empty space on the end lock. Yeah, and so there is the gearbox to... or whatever is there. Well, there's different ways to approach it. You can just mill slots into it and then your bolt carrier is exposed in your mm. spring and whatever shit, whatnot. But what you can do is kind of like imagine you have a surface and you just bolt a plate in front of it that's floating. So like inside Picardini rail just got a bunch of threaded holes. No, it's just because you have M-Lock, you have M-Lock on there. I would not trust anything. I mean, I already hate it. I use like one piece scope mount instead mm. of two piece. And now you're telling me to trust a piece of rail that is bolted and then I bolt my scope on it. I also uh, wouldn't be a fan of not I'm having it on the wrist. Yeah. Yeah. I'm true. also not, but this is happening with pack boxes. I mean, mm. if you have a pack box and it does a laser on it and most people do not take M lock mounted pack boxes and if even if they do it is just not the same as if it's like part of the extrusion it's like part of yeah. the rail it can never be off right mm. assuming that the rail is not like this. I mean I can imagine the other way around is I would be even interested in your res- upper receiver that has a scope mount already <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, such a yen way of yeah. thinking 
It's just most people like thing. want to choose that they maybe switch even yeah. you know it's like you are limited to so what, what you want is basically something like the G30, like the P90 with the Retro in, in integrated or the G36 well we can have the G28 you have the G28 it's a DMR it's a mm. scope mount it's really mint for like certain scopes to go on yeah. I wouldn't want that <laughs> anyway. I want to choose what optic I so M lock on the receiver no no. So you say a definite no, but still people put pack boxes into analog. Isn't that the same? Like if, yeah, if, if I run a, a night vision and I have an infrared laser and I just trust trust on the aim of the laser, but it's analog mounted. Isn't that the exact same thing as putting a scope onto analog? And yes. people are okay with it, but once yeah. you say okay, I put a scope into analog, people are like, what? Absolute no go. Uh, I mean, what context? I I, s I think for EEG it's definitely okay if you mount a scope to analog, probably. But if yeah, you're real steel, why do you need the scope? You're probably shooting a couple hundred meters. Mm -hmm. And your pack box, you was you probably operate inside within 200 meters. Mm -hmm. I don't really mind the fact that it would be bolted with an analog, but I can see the point because you would have the transition from hole to analog, like analog, and then you have the Picatinny uh, part. So, it's just like an M lock is friction held. Yeah. It's not locked. It's like, I mean, it, it, it is, is locked. But everything is friction held in this. Like, even a screw is friction held. Yeah. If, if you bolt two plates together, it's not a screw that defines it. It's a friction between the plates that. I mean, yeah. that's a theory at least, yeah. So, if you see like that. You know, if but then tied it hard enough, maybe it's just not an issue. <laughs> but then we would have to start like with. Red dots that have M lock and not Picatinny. Yeah, I haven't seen one. Yet. It's also hard because the Allen key access is difficult. But imagine the plate falls in there, you cannot get it out or something. <laughs> yeah, you know. great. <laughs> While shooting, <laughs> it's red is something. You know. Yeah, I mean, it would work, but then you would just have holes in the receiver if you don't put anything there. I not, mean, not if it's covered. Not if there's a second layer. Yeah. What about you? What do you think? M locks on the receiver? Man, yeah, already so pleased. It's like, okay, I'm like, <laughs> no way. I don't want to listen to this anymore. <laughs> okay, let's, let's wrap. Let's wrap it up. M lock is the cool new shit, and you need to follow the trend. Yes, like this conversation happened like ten years ago. What is better? People didn't really know. Ten but years ago? Yeah, there is an extensive research on this. They tried all different scenarios and measured it with whatever force impact tools they had and there is there is a page like mlog versus key mod and it's like 100% clear it's way better to use mlog link in the description sponsored by Macful industries <laughs> it's an open project like you can use mlog for anything yeah everybody can use mlog and you can get certification from macpool that that it's proper MLog. can it actually happen on a not a gun product can i have like an mlog mount on my I think gopro so. I and M lock license it? I, I think so, yeah. It, it's imagine accessory you, attachment. Imagine you buy a Nerf gun and it's like M lock license. <laughs> Macbook, the logo. And... I mean, they do it for Airsoft, they probably do it for Nerf as well. I wouldn't be surprised. The Nerf already have the Picatinny real copies on them. Sort yeah. of. Sort of, yeah. Uh, they off spec, I tried it. You can <laughs> yeah, not scope that. I also tried that. <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't? Yes. Who, if you have a Nerf gun, you try to put a scope on it, which is completely pointless. Of course, a scope like a nine times. <laughs> yeah. But... Okay. That's it. That's it. So the answer is M lock. M lock. Yeah. yeah. Nobody is like M -lock. easier to manufacture. Yes. It's tougher. Um, point of aim. Point it of needs impact. less space also. That's also a point. Less space. Yeah. Like imagine you have like a rail system around a pistol. You could actually do M lock, but not key mod because it's just mm. too wide. That's cool. It looks cool. I like it more. Yeah. Okay, anyways, that's the conclusion. Jan wants his flashlight to be integrated into the <laughs> into the thing and the scope mod as well. I think I mean, the, the old M4 hand uh, the old M4 handguard, there's one version with a flashlight. Yeah. In it. Yeah, yeah. P MP5 MP5 also has it. Yeah. Mm. And the Ares now also have their modular handguard with a flashlight integrated. For the striker. Mm. For the for the <laughs> Man Ares no. always has the best ideas. Man, when I saw that I'm like, that's actually pretty smart. 
<laughs> the hand guard basically just threads it rods and you just slice sections that you want. It is cool. Yeah. The Aris designs are okay. Good. That's it. Probably not the most uh, interesting video to watch, but I think it's that's our opinion. It's right for there. the it's it's for the tech heads out there. It's for the cheer softwares out there. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, the keyboard warriors. Are yes, <laughs> because if you really play it, it doesn't make it. Man, I'm good. telling you, in the comments, there will be this one guy who says Keymod is better. It's <laughs> no, gonna be. You're gonna say, I like the handguns that are just a pipe with a couple of threads inside. Because that also used to be a thing where you just bolt the other right there. It's like pro completely proprietary. It, it's just a tube yeah. with holes yeah, and I mean, just somebody right even has the idea that he wanted a handguard. It's basically just a tube full of threads full threaded holes and you just bolt M lock into each thread where you want it. And when I heard that I was like <laughs> So you you have a modular M lock, which is the idea is to have a modular Picatinny rail. So now you bolt an M lock to a tube, then you probably bolt a piece of rail to it. <laughs> <laughs> so you have bolt three some, it's like then just layers and layers <laughs> of stuff. Oh man. Okay, good proper ending Chris. Rob Banning, thanks for watching. Um, let us know in the comments below if those topics are too random, if they're too specific, if you want something more broad, 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 broader, broader. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, and we see you in the next one. See ya. Put your ideas in the comments. Okay. Uh, we just went to grab uh, the guns to make a thumbnail and I just saw something that's very interesting when it comes to this and I just want to show you. This is a key mod handguard. Maybe we can zoom on there a little bit. That's a key mod handguard and I have a hand stop here, which is M-Lock. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the M-Lock bolts in there. So you, you, have, you have the advantages of both. <laughs> Kinda. Look inside. So it, well, probably I guess the white hand. This M lock. <laughs> this this hand that combines Picatinny and M lock. Yeah. And key mod. Yeah. So I have key mod on the gun, and I have M lock accessory on there. And I remember when I was putting in there, I just really forced it. I just it it, it actually digs into the handguard itself, but it works. Nice. Yeah. So. As yeah, I that's said, it. Doesn't matter as long as it works. Yeah, it works. It's solid. Like. Doesn't Zero matter issues. what kind of holes you have on it, I as long as it gets into it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> that should, that be should, be. should be the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, uh, I know I had to file completely off everything, but yeah, it works. Yeah, that's what we said, like, yeah, if you make it, it work, it, yeah. it's yeah. gonna work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So anything works with a file and a drill. Yeah. <laughs> so, there we go, that's it. Um, now we make the thumbnail. Just make it work. It uh, doesn't doesn't matter at all. Okay, thumbnail. Thumbnail. Man, it's good. Really, actually.